Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today I'm going to show you how to add EOBs or explanation of benefits to an invoice and we're also going to show you how to do that in bulk. So the very first thing we're going to click on Sally Jones's appointment. We're going to click on the invoice and we're going to go down to the claim. So we need to add an EOB on this claim. So we're going to open up this claim and we can see right now it's based on the estimated coverage. So we're going to click on add EOB. And this is the value you would have uh, received back from the insurance company. And so um, they actually are only going to pay for $50 as eligible. So the car insurance, we're going to also put in $50. And these are the values that you would have received back. And there is no copay. So it's in draft form right now because we already created that claim. We've submitted it and we got approved. So we're going to mark it as approved. And we can see now that the value is not based on the uh, estimated coverage. It's actually based on the uh, explanation of benefits that uh, we got back from the insurance company. And so in this case, it's $50. And there's a $50 balance outstanding on this invoice. So if we want to go back to this invoice, we can see that um, in this case, the client balance is $16 and the insurer balance is the $50 that's outstanding. So we're going to close this and I'm going to show you how that's if you wanted to do um, one at a time on each invoice. But if you want to do in bulk, we're going to click on the billing section. Then we're going to go down to our claims and we can filter it by um, insurance company and then the status. So we'd probably want to pick all our draft um, claims that uh, we have. And then we're going to edit those claims because we want to uh, add EOBs. And so the claims that we want to add EOBs for an example, so if it was just these two, and then we would open the EOBs. And what's going to happen is um, similar to what we just did, you'd put those values in. And so if we had the EOB, and in this case, say it was 66 and the coinsurance was 66, um, we can continue and we'll change the status as approved as we did in the other one. And we go to the next, um, uh, we go to the next one. Uh, now we're on EOB number two and we can follow the same sort of uh, process based on the information that we received back from um, whatever portal you're using or from the insurance company and we will save and uh, I forgot to mark this one uh, the one as um, approved but we've updated our our um, our claims in bulk so those are the two ways you can do it you can do it either in bulk by going to the uh, insurance uh, sorry the claim section in uh, the billing billing section here or you can do it uh, one at a time and so that's how you'd add EOBs um, to claims. Thanks.